beautiful people. <laughs> Your girl is back again. It's been a while. Yes. And this time around, I'm talking to you from the USA. Yeah. And uh, to, to students who are out there and they are planning to pursue their studies in the USA. If you're out there and you have plans to continue with your studies in the US, uh, then I will, I'm here to let you know that uh, CSI got your back. Look no further. <laughs> Yes, uh, CSI is um, an international institution downtown Chicago and they offer the comprehensive and innovative programs to students in all fields of life. It doesn't matter what you want to study. All you just need is to submit your application. And so I'm here to let you know that um, this is not only for students who are outside the USA. It's also for students who are in here. So if you're in the U.S. and uh, probably you enter with a business visa, you want to change to student visa, yes, I got your back. They're going to guide you through the steps on how you can change your, your, your business visa to student visa. And also, if you actually entered with a student visa and because of uh, challenges, you were unable to go in the classroom within a month because according to the government law, you have to get in the classroom within one month of entry. So if you are not able to get in the classroom, then your status will be will be terminated. So if you're in that category, then I will advise you to submit your application in the CSI and they will get you back into your student status. So it could be that uh, you're in another institution and the tuition fee there is so expensive, you can't afford and you're wondering how to continue, then I will advise you to transfer to CSI because they have uh, with the college program uh, within a year you pay not more than five thousand dollars and within this one year you'll be prepared for a career that will be able to sustain you throughout because with the OPT and the CPT program they are curriculum practical training that they give to their students and at the end of the day you will be able to get a career a profession that you will that it will take you through so if you are out there and you're interested then I will advise you to drop your email in the comment section below and I will refer you to the institution you know when you are being referred then you stand high chances to be accepted as compared to someone who just dropped the application randomly so I will go further and I will show you the step-by-step -step how you can submit your application Immediately after you drop your email in the comment section, then follow the step by step and you fill in the application so that by the time that I refer you, your information will be with them already. So let us let me walk you through <laughs> step by step, step by step. Okay, love you. <laughs> Earlier said, let me walk you through step by step <laughs> uh, you can just log in your uh, laptop now use any browser right now I'm using Firefox so you can use uh, Google any of your search engine and you just type computer systems Institute you don't even need to write the campus just just type and uh, you click enter when you click enter, you scroll and you go down and you take this. Here we are. <laughs> okay. And so when you open, you have the home, the home page, the academic, uh, admissions, international students, campuses. They have, I told you, they have several campuses. Uh, student life, uh, why study uh, in CSI, why why you should choose CSI uh, for your uh, for your program uh, you have news you have blog and then you click apply now but before you apply I just want to walk you through something so why uh, welcome to CSI so as I earlier told you uh, this institution is dedicated to helping students gain the skills and support the need to reach their goals whether you are looking to start a new career improve your professional skills or pursue academic study 
CSI can help you. <laughs> CSI is here to give you all the necessary skills that you need for that dream job and that dream career that you're planning to do here in the USA. So why CS why CSI? Of uh, academic why they are excellent, uh, value they are great and support is amazing. So just watch this short video. For the past 30 years, Computer Systems Institute has been committed to providing academic and career-focused education to our students. Thousands of graduates have acquired advanced skills through education at CSI to achieve their personal and professional goals. The business world is very competitive, and this drives the CSI team to ensure that our programs provide quality education to our students. Our programs cover a wide array of industries, from sales and marketing to computer science to customer service, along with hospitality and healthcare. Visit our website, csinow.edu, to locate the campus closest to you and schedule an appointment with an admissions representative to enroll today. Yes, thank you. Let's continue. So we go straight to apply now. And they say a few easy steps to enroll. It's very easy, as I told you. Just follow the step by step. So here you have start a new application. You're, you're starting a new application. If, if it's perhaps you have started and maybe you didn't upload the required documents and if you have to continue, you can just continue here. But let's begin here because we are beginning from the first step. So you click start a new application. So when you click start a new application, you have the application. It's completed. 23 hours. As an earlier said, when you click here, you have all the options that they have here. So these are uh, students who are coming in new. These are students who are already in the U.S. And these are students who want to change their visa status. Uh, these are uh, returning students. You could be a uh, year student and you want to come back for a new course. These are students that are here and their visa status has been termi terminated. Might be because of uh, because or for some challenges, so they are ready to help you get back to your status. Uh, this could be students who are transferred from other schools from the U.S. and they want to come to their institution. So you just click here and you fill in the information. So what you have to do is like you, when you click any of these options, then you just scroll down. Let's go. Just scroll down and then you fill in your personal information, your name your date of birth, your gender, or uh, your country, just click here and then you choose uh, which country you're applying for. Uh, your home address is very necessary. Uh, they're asking for U.S. address. If yes, if you're already in the U.S., you can use your U.S. address, but if you're not in the U.S., it's not necessary. Then place of birth, you fill in the uh, emergency contact, yes. Most often they will want your maybe uh, your mom, your dad, uh, your husband, your wife, uh, someone that they can contact immediately, or, or your best friend who is very close to you, so you fill in their information here. And if you have a F2 dependent, uh, for instance, if you're coming in as a wife or as a husband and you want your husband or your wife to depend on you, then your wife will be using F2 uh, visa. So if you have any dependent, then you click yes and you write the name. If, if, if it is your child or your husband or your partner, yeah, anybody that you want to be on your visa, then you have to fill their information here. Then when you go down here, you have attestation of high school graduation equivalent. So it depends what field you're applying for. If you're applying for a college degree, you will need your high school graduate. Uh, attestation. If you're applying for a uh, bachelor's degree, uh, then you will you'll be required to submit uh, your college certificate. If you're applying uh, probably for master's, then you'll uh, be required to submit uh, your uh, bachelor's degree to show that you've actually uh, graduated, you actually have an uh, undergraduate program. So when you're done with all this, you write the necessary information, then you come here, upload the document. Uh, the first document you have to up upload is your passport, your visa, 
before the other document then when you submit here they will give you another page to continue so just to let you know as I earlier said uh, for you to be considered I told you uh, you just need to be referred so drop down your information in the comment section below and um, I will refer you uh, before you fill this form so by the time that you submit this form your name will already be with the institution so that is the, the sacrifice that I'm gonna do uh, to anybody who will uh, go on this page to uh, apply in CSI and so if you're new here please remember to hit that notification button so that you will be notified immediately uh, I upload a follow-up video thank you so much for watching and stay tuned bye bye love you hey beautiful people <laughs> Your girl is back again. It's been a while, yes. And this time around, I'm talking to you from the USA. Yeah, and uh, to, to students who are out there and they're planning to pursue their studies in the USA, if you're out there and you have plans to continue with your studies in the US, uh, then I will, I'm here to let you know that uh, CSI got your back. Look no further. <laughs> Yes, uh, CSI is um, an international institution downtown Chicago and they offer the comprehensive and innovative programs to students in all fields of life. It doesn't matter what you want to study. All you just need is to submit your application. And so I'm here to let you know that um, this is not only for students who are outside the USA. It's also for students who are in here. So if you're in the US and probably you enter with a business visa, you want to change to student visa, CS, I got your back. They're gonna guide you through the steps on how you can change your, your, your business visa to student visa. And also, if you actually entered with a student visa and because of uh, challenges, you were unable to go in the classroom within a month because according to the government law, you have to get in the classroom within one month of entry. So if you are not able to get in the classroom, then your status will be will be terminated. So if you're in that category, then I'll advise you to submit your application in the CSI and they will get you back into your student status. So it could be that uh, you're in another institution and the tuition fee there is so expensive, you can't afford and you're wondering how to continue, then I will advise you to transfer to CSI because they have for, with the college program uh, within a year you pay not more than five thousand dollars and within this one year you'll be prepared for a career that will be able to sustain you throughout because with the OPT and the CPT program they are curriculum practical training that they give to their students and at the end of the day you will be able to get a career a profession that you will that it will take you through so if you are out there and you're interested then I'll advise you to drop your email in the comment section below and I will refer you to the institution you know when you are being referred then you stand high chances to be accepted as compared to someone who just dropped their application randomly so I will go further and I will show you the step-by-step -step how you can submit your application immediately after you drop your email in the comment section then follow the step by step and you fill in the application so that by the time that i refer you your information will be with them already so let us let me walk you through <laughs> step by step step by step okay love you <laughs>